हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर वेरी ऑन चैनल टेक्निकल साहिल गाइस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द वीडियोस व्हिच आई हैव अपलोडेड सो फार ऑन दिस चैनल हैव रिक्वायरमेंट द यूज ऑफ अ वीपीएस और अ डेडिकेटेड सर्वर मेजॉरिटी ऑफ टाइम्स बिकॉज़ एज़ वी हैव ऑफ्टन लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल वेरियस सॉफ्टवेयर स्क्रिप्ट्स एटसेट्रा फॉर व्हिच रूट एक्सेस इज मैंडेटरी हाउएवर सम प्रोवाइडर्स ऑफ वीपीएस सर्विसेज विदाउट प्रोवाइडिंग रूट एक्सेस बाय डिफॉल्ट which is the main reason we opt for vps in the first place i am not just talking about small providers but also major ones like aws and ovh cloud who don't provide root access by default so in today's video i'll be showing you how to enable root access on your vps when your provider has only given you normal user access which is typically by the name of your selected operating system for example if you have chosen the CentOS variant of Linux while ordering so your username could be CentOS and similarly if you have choose Ubuntu so maybe your username would be Ubuntu like similarly i have purchased a vps from ovh cloud and they have provided me a user based on my selected operating system you can see the ip without giving me the root access basically the username you can see Ubuntu and you can see since i have choose ubuntu os during the ordering process it is not necessary that all the providers send you a username like this but those who don't provide default root access will have a different username but the point is we need root access and the server provider by default has not provided that so how can we get the root access that's the motive of this video and the method i'll be showing you today will work on servers from all providers that does not offer root access by default and to do this we'll need to follow three or four simple steps and run few commands on our server while logged in as non root user which our operating system provider has provided us i have already written those commands in a separate article and i'll provide the same link in the description below so you can also copy and paste the commands and run on your server just like i do so without any further delay let me show you how to enable root access on your vps first log in to your server using the non root user the details the provider has provided you on your email you can do this using any ssh client or console i am using putty for this video which is by default installed in my pc and if you want to install putty simply find the link from here and you and through that link you will be able to install putty as i said putty is already there installed in my pc so let me just copy the ip from here and let me copy the password from here and click open username is ubuntu which is ovh provided us and the password we have just copied we need to right click and it will be pasted and as you can see i have logged in from ubuntu user now we have done the first step and now we need to change the root password and the command i will simply copy right from here and paste it here now i need to mention the password either you can set up a new password but it's good if i do the same password because i don't have to remember the ovh already sent it me the password on my email so and password updated successfully now we need to edit this ss sshd config file using the nano text editor so i will copy the command and paste it here and now you need to find this permit root login basically we need to find these two things so either we can do control w and this is just a few arrows away arrow downs away so let me just uh this one this one here it is first we need to remove the hash from here as i mentioned remove the hash and make it from comment to actual a uh, line of code and we need to remove this prohibit password and type yes instead of here now we need to scroll down a bit using the down arrow key 
and here we need to find password authentication by default it is no maybe in your case it would be yes but if it's no then made it yes by removing no and type yes now to save the changes we need to press ctrl x then y press enter uh, these are the keys i have mentioned here as well and they are ctrl x y and press enter now we need to restart this sh sshd reload service and we do that by following up this command press enter and we have done now if i close this putty session and if i open again the putty let me copy the same credentials the same ip which is in my email and click open this time i will give the username root because we have enabled the root and the password we have given the same password to the root user as well so let me copy and paste it here and guys as you can see we have entered logged in as root user from non root user which ovh has provided us by default the same step will work on on each provider which has which did not provide you root user by default like aws also does the same thing uh, so that's all for this video and thanks for watching